New developments this afternoon in the war in Ukraine. The country scrambling to protect its infrastructure as Russian airstrikes hit energy sources now. Ukrainian leaders are calling the attacks a deliberate strategy to destroy key power and water sources. ABC's Faith of Bube reports. Tonight, another barrage of Russian strikes leaving parts of Ukraine, including the capital city of Kyiv, in the dark. Ukraine's President Zelensky says a third of the country's power stations have been destroyed by the recent Russian onslaught, causing massive blackouts. It's really cold. I'm sleeping in my clothes in my apartment. President Zelensky condemning the Russian attacks as terrorism, writing on Twitter, no space left for negotiations with Putin's regime. The Kremlin's new wave of Iranian-made drone missiles have been targeted at residential areas in Ukraine, resulting in civilian deaths and injuries. Firefighters scrambling to rescue survivors. It's genocide of Ukrainian population. They want to destroy the, our critical infrastructure. They do want to kill the civilians. Ukrainian forces fighting back. Local Air Force officials say they've used air defense missiles to shoot down 37 out of the 43 drone missiles Russia recently launched. Western intelligence officials believe Iran has been supplying Russia with the weaponized drones. The shift in strategy on the part of the Russians is because they're losing on the ground. The Russians cannot win on the battlefield against the Ukrainians. NATO today promising to deliver anti-drone systems to help Ukraine's military. So we will continue to vigorously enforce all U.S. sanctions on both the Russian and U U Iranian arms trade, make it harder for Iran to sell these weapons to Russia. In Washington, Faith Abube, ABC News.